Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kamika and everybody calls me Kami. So don't even bother to stress, it's Kami for you. Because it's Kami Keto J. As my channel name suggests, I live in the beautiful island of Jamaica um, in the Caribbean. Um, I am on a ketogenic lifestyle, but before I continue, I just want to let you know that I am no way, shape or form a doctor, a dietitian, a nutritionist or anything for that um, in that line of work. I am actually a cosmetologist and so I help to make people feel beautiful, makeup, lashes, nails or whatever it is in the beauty industry that's what I'm all about so um, I just did a lot of research and found keto and tried it and I love it so that is why I'm on this journey here and for other reasons that we'll talk about definitely the next thing I want to point out to you I am NOT a chef I'm definitely not a chef I just like to buy a nice plate and put the pretty food on it. The pretty food also tastes good. So um, I just want to put that out there. Don't come for me. Don't say, oh my God, she's doing this and it's not so. I cook out I like. I cook for me alone. Like I live alone, so I cook for myself. Um, so you know. Do what makes you feel comfortable in your kitchen. You can always alter the recipes to fit you. I mean, if you can't eat dairy, don't add dairy. If you don't eat chicken, prepare the, the, the seafood meals. So, um, I just want to put that out there. I'm not a chef, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a nutritionist. And so, it is my own research that I use to help me transition into the ketogenic lifestyle no um, so far the the diet has been really really good to me I've been on and off but hopefully you guys can help me be more accountable and so I will stick to it and that is one of the reasons too why I finally finally decided to start a channel to be accountable because sometimes you get sidetracked and stuff like that um, you let the everything out there in the world work and family and everything else take over when it's if you don't have health you don't you, you, nothing else matter because you'll be in a grave so um, I really hope that you guys help me to stay on track just you know preparing the meals and stuff like that having that responsibility to put videos out there with the food that I'm eating and um, the different grocery hauls and stuff like that the different hacks um, also um, talking about people who inspires me and stuff like that so you know hopefully those things will help me to stay on um, track with my ketogenic lifestyle no um, the channel definitely will be focusing on um, preparing meals suited for this lifestyle we will also um, talk about where to get the groceries um, exercise and you know beauty in general feeling beautiful inside and out how keto how the lifestyle will help to bring out the beauty in you because trust me keto does not only make you lose weight it also makes you feel good feel confident look good great skin healthy hair and nails etc etc but I mean we will definitely have upcoming videos where we discuss um, the different benefits 
of being on the diet and definitely how it affects me or how it improved um, my own life now um, I made a list of things I want to discuss with you guys just to not stray too far or talk too long um, I the first the the first point was the disclaimer I did that already the next thing is why I decided to um, go on a diet like I was diagnosed with PCOS in my teens actually and that is the polycystic ovarian syndrome you I can do a video if you want more information on that also um, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at age 30 and so recommendation for both is that I lose weight I keep my glucose level normal and what else anything else I can't remember now, but if anything else I'll talk about it later right so those are the main reasons why I decided to definitely stick to the ketogenic lifestyle because I've tried other diets before and I didn't stick to it some work to a point and then you come off and you go right back and you, you just eat pear rice and um, pear flour so you know um, keto worked I love it I came off keto for two weeks and I nearly died so I had to run go to the supermarket and stock up back on my stuff so this is definitely a lifestyle for me um right so um diabetes type 2 polycystic ovarian syndrome syndrome my main reason for um wanting to lose weight but after doing my research i realized that there's a lot of perks that come with doing the ketogenic lifestyle no I will definitely show you guys how to cook the meals I eat to get into ketosis, to stay in ketosis, and to burn all that fat for energy. Now, if you don't know, keto is a the ketogenic lifestyle is a high fat, moderate protein, a low carb, a very very low carb um, diet. It um, oh by the way, I'm not a keto expert. This is just from research right so the diet transitions your body from burning carb as energy into fat as energy so um, while you fast you're burning all your stored fat as energy just imagine you walking down the road and you're burning off the fat that is in your belly or in your legs or you know that arm fat you burn it off by walking down the road who wouldn't want that you know so um, it, it, is, it is very very it's a very very sweet diet the food is sweet and the results is sweet so um, it's definitely something um, to try I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask me what have I been doing to lose weight and stuff like that because when I started a diet in 2019, August 2019, um, I started off my initial weight in was 246 pounds and I'm just 5 foot 5 inches tall. So I'm obese. So you know, I would be able. Um, and after a couple of weeks, People didn't see it. People didn't see that I was losing weight. But it never stopped me because I was enjoying the food. And I continued. And then um, October, people started to come to me and say, um, What are you doing? I want some. And I'm like, I'm cooking. You know, I'm cooking. I'm definitely cooking. I cook every day, almost almost every day um, so you know a lot of people came to me asked me if I can cook for them or if I can do a meal prep for them or if I can just advise them on what to cook and stuff like that no I have a salon and so it's very hard to cook for, for people I've tried it before um, hopefully 
later down I can take that up again but for right right now I think the best thing for me is to just help especially Jamaicans people in the Caribbean to learn about this lifestyle and how you can get grocery and um, things that will help you to stay on this journey locally so getting food items to prepare locally that's very very important because when I started it was very hard to find things um, some things if you don't mind the price will run you into buying rice and flour but I stick to it and I um, call around I meet with people I started following other um, persons on Instagram and YouTube and just you know altering their recipes to suit ingredients that I have and also things that I liked I tried to um, create a recipe to, to make that dish that I like that nobody else made so we will definitely talk about all of that um, the different recipes where to get the food where to get the the gadgets etc whether it be local or online because some things you definitely definitely need to get online um, I encourage that because you don't want to to spend extra amount of money on something that you can get triple the amount for if you did buy it online so we'll talk about all of that on this channel we will definitely be in the kitchen a lot cooking um doing you know fabulous fabulous delicious healthy ketogenic meals that is the main focus for this channel um, we will definitely talk about my workout routines and stuff like that look um i'm not a gym girl like i don't like going to the gym i don't like working out but i do it because i have to i do it because you want to burn those um calories you want to stay fit and healthy you want to help um to lose the weight along with what you're eating um so i try to do some walking and some skipping and do some cardio to lose the weight i mean as i get down into it the more my body um, adjusts to the exercise in life i will definitely start hitting the gym more i was doing it while i was in low car but um with a change in my job and all of that i had to you know just do, do a little now but as i said as we get into the ketogenic lifestyle more more weight start dropping and stuff like that have to tighten up that skin have to still look um, nice and fresh and tight so well I forgot the gym even if we don't like it right guys so I have to go to the gym um, what else will we talk about here uh, we will talk about definitely what we're gonna eat on the road if it is that we don't cook that's very important because Things like these will definitely get you off track. Being stranded on the road with no food. I'm the type of girl that goes to the baby shower with my food. Yes, I do. I go to the baby shower with my food. I go to work with my food. You understand? I go to the beach with my food. So... If you're out there and you don't have your food, you don't have your lunch bag, what are you going to do? So we'll definitely talk about that, how to not get off track by being stranded um, on the road. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, in 2019, when I started, I was 246 pounds. Now, at the beginning of... At, yeah, the end of November, I was about 220, 25, 26 thereabouts. I don't quite remember. No, um, I had to do some low carb because I couldn't go out and 
get grocery and cook and all of those things so I had to eat on the road a lot of times but I tried to make it um, as close to keto friendly as possible at that time since then I've learned and so um, that will never happen to me again where I'm wondering what I'm gonna eat because I definitely I'm sticking to this right right now so you guys can also help me to be accountable so we're sticking to this right right now where even if I don't cook for one month I can still be in keto and stuff like that based on all of the ups and downs that I've been through from last year into this year no I had to do a way in to go back on keto and I weighed in at 237 is it let me double check I think it's 237 237.6 no that's the day that I started back uh, my journey um, into the ketosis lifestyle no guys um, I went back on the scale I'm not one for scale I'm not very big on it but just to see my progress because I know I had to come and do this video um, I went on the scale on Monday and guys I was 231 pounds and that is just a couple of days of changing what I ate drinking more water now water is very important on keto and I try to drink at least this a day it's 67 ounces if possible I will drink so this is my next half so I drank one full bottle and then I'm having this much before I go to bed so I try to drink a lot of water while I'm on this diet I do a lot of uh, collagen and, and stuff like that to keep healthy help out my liver and stuff like that but we'll get into all of the different aspects of keto as we go along on this journey um, so let me go back to my notes guys so um, I will definitely insert some before and after pics of my very short journey last year on keto into this year just for you to see how much I lost in that short space of time so I definitely know that there's a lot more to gain from continuing on this lifestyle um, you know just being inspired and inspire people is one of the biggest um, things for me you know just helping people to feel more confident to feel um, beautiful to feel wanted and accepted you know it's very very important and keto will help you with that it's just to find the right budget for you it's just to find the right food you, you like and stuff like that so um, we can do it we can enjoy this lifestyle we can enjoy having a fast food if we cook it and we can enjoy alcohol later down in the diet you know when you know you your body in full ketosis mode you've lost some weight you make a goal for yourself and you lose that weight and stuff like that and you you know you're going out for drinks with your girlfriend or a wedding coming up or whatever you drink your dry red red wine or you can have rum or vodka I will tell you definitely what you, you need to get to do the chasers and stuff like that if you're not having it on the rocks but at the same time you have to be very careful so we also talk about that we'll talk about everything regarding keto and how it will help you um, and stuff like that I will try and definitely upload videos every week because I cook every day I will mainly do um, vlog style because sometimes you know it's good to see the entire day not just dinner stuff but especially to go into ketosis you want to know what I eat for breakfast what I eat for lunch and what I eat for dinner 
um, or how we do intermittent fasting and stuff like that. So we will definitely touch everything when it comes to keto. Definitely, definitely, definitely. This channel will be very fun. It will be lit because the food will be great. I can't even stress that enough. Um, and cheap too. Definitely, we will do cheap food. So um, it will be great, great for people from every economic background. We can do it. We can definitely do it. Um, guys, before I go, I just want to encourage you. Um, I'm not very. I'm not. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a shy person. So I had to get real, real comfortable to do this video. I created this channel months ago and I had to get real, real comfortable to do this video. And you know, just to, to see myself doing it is a testament that I am more confident in myself know that I lost some weight and um, I feel more beautiful than ever you know I feel like I can help people well I've actually started helping people because it's people that actually want me to do this channel more than even myself but I just got the hang of it you know where it go um, so you can always like the videos but definitely subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends especially those men and women who want to lose weight who want to feel beautiful who don't know what to buy and what to cook and stuff like that so please definitely um help me in spreading the word about this wonderful lifestyle where you eat great food and lose weight while you're eating great food um, I'm not going to stay too long if I forgot anything I will definitely catch up in the next video so I will definitely definitely see you soon I have to go get rid of all of this makeup and take off this wig and go to bed so see you soon I will definitely be posting a video of some scrumptious what kind of chicken I made today I made chicken thighs in creamy kale mushroom sauce or is it a creamy mushroom kale sauce right creamy creamy mushroom kale sauce so it's chicken thighs and i will be eating that with some cauliflower mash so you guys definitely want to check that out um, in my next video okay guys and I'm not telling you when I'm gonna post it because I want to see it here and I want to see more subscribers so share it with your friends Mugan.